So today I want to show you guys how to calculate this strange situation that happens fairly often in framing where you have an intersecting pitch. Sometimes it's the same pitch, sometimes they're different pitches. The formula is going to be the same. It's going to be 90 degrees minus pitch A plus pitch B. So you add these two pitches together, subtract them from 90. That will give you the angle. However, there are some caveats to that. First off, let me explain to you how the speed square works because we can't just subtract 12 or we can't just add 12 and 7 together. We actually need to know the degrees for these pitches. So 12 pitches of 45, a 7 pitch is 30.26 or something. We'll just use 30 degrees for the sake of simplicity. But we need to convert these to their degree format. And then we need to understand how the speed square works a bit. So speed square is a super useful tool for marking out pitches. If I pivot to a seven pitch and scribe that angle, bear with me. So I've just scribed that. It says it's marking about a 30.24. However, what this actually marked out is a 60 degree angle. So the numbers, when you pivot, actually invert the angle. So this is slightly confusing, I think, to a lot of people, but a 30 degree angle would actually be with no pivot. And if I marked it right here, and I trace that angle, So this is actually a 30 degree angle, and this is actually a 60 degree angle. So it's important to know that because when you mark this out, 90 degrees minus pitch A plus pitch B, it doesn't actually give you the, the true angle here. Like this angle cut will actually be Let's see, we got 45 plus 30. I know my math is looking backwards here, but we're gonna end up with 15, right? So this is a 15 degree on the pivot. Not, this isn't a 15 degree angle, okay? This is a speed square 15 degree. So when you go to mark this out, you're not gonna mark a 15 degree angle true. You're going to pivot to 15 and that along the blade here will be the cut of your angle so that's an important thing to know now you can have a different scenario here let me just flip my prep work over let's say we have this scenario where you have a 7-12 pitch laying on a 12-12 pitch. Now the formula is exactly the same. However, this is going to give you, and it's going to give you the same answer, but this time it is a true 15 degree angle. So when you go to mark this out, you're going to have to Put your square on, mark 15, mark your pivot, and then trace that to create the long cut of that particular scenario. So both of these use the same formula. However, one will refer you to the pivot on a speed square, and this will refer you to a true angle the actual angle um, dimension if you used a protractor. So slightly confusing. I can give you maybe a little bit more detail and maybe that'll help to clarify that. And the way I like to clarify that is just by drawing an XY coordinate through this intersection. So if you could imagine just a perfect 90 degree division of these quadrants right here. We have the same pitch, 7-12 and 12-12. Now anytime 
you make this line through two parallel lines, you end up with the adjacent angles being the same. So you have a 30 there and a 30 there. That holds true for here too. So this is a 30, this is a 30. And because of 45 is the same way, 45 here and 45 here, it's also gonna be 45 here and 45 there. So if we refer back to our formula, pitch A plus pitch B minus 90, what that's telling you is basically that you have this pitch, this angle here, 45 degree angles, 30 degree angles, you add the two together, you get 75 degrees. Now this is a true 75 degree angle. When you make this cut, however, not using a speed square, on a speed square, it'll be the inversion of that, a 15 degree, because again, if you pivot this to 15, the blade is actually marking a 75. If you mark 15 and then pivot to that, it's marking a true 15. So as you can see, all this does is just create a scenario that is converting speed square information into actual geometry. So again, this angle plus this angle subtracted from 90. 30 plus 45, add them together and subtract them from 90. That gives you the 15 degree actually allowing you to convert it to be able to use on a speed square. If you weren't using a speed square, you wouldn't have to do the rest of it. You could just add the two angles together. It would be really simple. But subtracting them from 90 allows you to convert it to be used with a speed square. However, because a speed square has two different ways to use, you can either mark it, then pivot, or pivot, then mark, giving you opposite ends of the 90. It's important to know which one is which. So. Ninety degrees minus the two pitches added together. This will give you the actual fifteen degrees. This will give give you fifteen degrees on a speed square. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I hope that helps.